Hey y'all! No, I'm joking. Hiya. I'm going to do a Leona Lewis Bleeding Heart inspired look today. I got a request last night for it. And it's actually something that I've been getting a lot of requests before for it as well, but didn't get out to doing it. And it kind of refreshed my memory. So here we go. I was trying to lay off the greens because I do a lot of them, but it's, it's a kind of, it's a good look. So we're going to give it a shot. First I'm going to apply some Max Shark Skin in Max Shade Stick Shark Skin all over my eyelid and create the base, the shape that we need. I've already warmed it up, that's why the lid was off. And you just apply it all over the eyelid. I'm going to create a little tick. Kind of go straight across. So you've got like that kind of shape because it's all going to get coloured in. If you warm the shade stick up between your hands, it doesn't apply so harsh. I know a lot of people have complained about that, that it won't go on the skin very well. Now I know that looks really silly, but I'll see when it comes together what happens. Okay, so that's coloured in. Actually, now we need to do the bottom lash line because we're dark on the bottom as well. So just line the lower lash line. Now we're going to apply my deep blue pigment, deep blue green, sorry. All over the eyelid, the eyelid. Just completely cover that entire black. The blacks are used because this helps to stick the colour out and also if you were to use the deep blue green on its own without the shark skin base you wouldn't get the exact colour that I'm after. You'll see what I mean if you own a shade stick. It really does change the colours for you. Just blend that in. If you don't want fallout like I had last night in my videos Make sure that you stick the colour on to the shark stick, the shade stick rather than just applying it. So you're just sticking it on there so it shouldn't fall out so much. Okay, now that you've done your deep blue green, I'm going to apply some night light, my pigment night light. Just use the same brush, it's not a problem. We're going to apply that halfway in and out. And then on the inside and to the way you've got where you've got the half line. Apparently you're supposed to start from the ins the, uh, halfway in and out and then from the inside then right over. This gives the middle a bit too cold apparently. I don't usually do this though because I sometimes haven't got time. Because I try not to edit my video too much so that you get to see the whole lot and not just chopped bits. Because I know when I say chopped videos it's hard to understand what they've done when they've cut and they've come back to a full face. You think well I don't really know what's happened there so I try and do this as fast as I can. 
it's actually quite annoying because some of the looks are take a while to do so you need that extra time to do it anyway now we're going to apply some MAC pigment in green mine's all gone I've only got a little bit in the bottom I'm just going to apply that to the outer corners like that Alternatively, I'll run through some colours as I go. If you haven't got the MAC colours, because I know some of these are not like they're discontinued, so if you haven't got them, you can always use the Barry M Emerald colour or Kargi or NYX. The lime one you can use, there's not many greens though, the fact that's the only green. But there's lots of different ones. L'Oreal Hip have different colours that are good and pigmented. Now once you've done that, quickly get that lid back on. We're going to apply some white MAC pigment we're going to lift the colour up a little just using a blending brush stick it under your brow bone and blend it in down on the inside as well on the inside of your nose and bring it along Right now and quickly, I'm not going to have time to do the mascara, but I'll show you on the finishing photos. Quickly go along with the green with any liner brush that you have and just line them bottom lashes where you put your shark skin. Shark skin again is going to add, act as a base, so just put the green all along the bottom. Now quickly, if we've got time, just find a black eyeliner. I've got some new pots to do for my brushes and things because this is terrible. I put them in one of the drawers just so I can carry it around. So I'm not going to find that. Where is it? It's not going to turn up for us. So I'm just going to use PowerPoint and Industry. It's close enough to the engraved. Little and it's not sharpened. Damn. Gonna have to do. We're gonna apply. Put you put a black on your waterline. I'm using industry, which is like a slate grey, but I wanted black, but I can't find it. So you just use black on the inside on your waterline. This isn't sharpened either. This was just scraping my eye. But anyway, just gonna brush away any fallout. And there it is. Eyebrows quickly. So you can see it's kind of colour coded greens all the way through. And finish off quickly with some gel MAC lipstick. Because in the video she's wearing peachy colour. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Zoom zoom.